Have you ever thought about traveling through the Himalayan mountains on a railway tunnel? This can only be your imagination, but no, it's turning into reality with the joint collaboration of China and Nepal. Nepal is famous for its massive mountain ranges, including the world's highest peak, Mount Everest. And China is known for its advancements in technology. So both countries collaborated on a massive project, the China-Nepal railway tunnel across the giant Himalayas. You wouldn't imagine how these two countries will make it possible, but they have a good plan. Himalayan mountains are vast and have always acted as a natural barrier to construction projects. That's why you don't see proper tracks and trails over these huge mountains. However, this project aims to break through these limitations by connecting the two countries through a long railway tunnel. This tunnel represents more than just construction. It promises significant changes in how these nations collaborate and grow economically. The beautiful Himalayas are like a giant wall made of mountains that stretch across five countries. The beauty of the Himalayas is in their unique, rustic, calm aura. It's no wonder that tests show this mountain range is geographically alive, growing a quarter of an inch every year. The Himalayas include the highest mountains in the world. It has more than 110 peaks rising to 24,000 feet 7, meters, or above sea level. These tall mountains look stunning because they are always covered in clouds and mist or snow. People who explore and study nature have been fascinated by these mountains for almost 100 years because they are so huge and show how powerful nature can be. That is why it intrigues a man to summit these high mountains even though it means risking their own life. Can you imagine riding on a train through these huge mountains? Well, that's exactly what a group of pro-skilled builders from China are trying to do. They are working on making the highest railway in the world right through these mighty Himalayas. It's a massive task because they are digging at a height of 8,800 meters above sea level. That's like being way up in the sky. This railway they are building isn't just any old train track. Nope, it's going to be very long, stretching for hundreds and hundreds of kilometers. This tunnel is winding its way through these beautiful mountains, making a link between China and Nepal. This link-up is going to change a lot of things. It's not just about trains, it's about how these countries trade and stay connected with each other. But the question arises that why are they going through this massive project? And what are the odds that it will be a failure? The story behind this project is the tale of Nepal's history and its ambitions. Nepal has been kind of trapped because it's stuck in the middle of land with no coastlines. Being landlocked means other countries surround it, making it rely heavily on India for trade. But now, Nepal is eager to break free from this reliance and start trading directly with our countries in the world. They want to stand on their own, especially to boost their economy. Here's the interesting part. This railway idea isn't something new. It's been around for quite a while. Back in 1973, King Barendra of Nepal first started talking about this railway dream. And now it's finally becoming a reality. This railway could be a game changer for Nepal. It will give them a new way to trade and stand on their own without depending too much on other countries for their economy. It's like they're paving their own road to economic independence. This huge railway project covers a distance of 530 kilometers. It's got this incredible tunnel that stretches for 30 kilometers right through the Himalayas. It begins in Lhasa, a place in China, then goes through these huge mountains, bypasses India, and finally ends up in Kathmandu, the big capital city of Nepal. This idea has been in people's minds for many years and now, at last, it's almost ready to become a reality. However, starting this huge project wasn't a child's play. Back in the 1970s, China wasn't as rich and didn't have the advanced train tech it has now. Nepal was dealing with a lot of money problems too, and they were stuck in a bunch of debt. People were really concerned that digging through the mountains might mess up nature. These challenges and monetary issues made everyone wait a really long time before they could even begin working on the project. Also, constructing through the Himalayas requires advanced equipment and huge labor. Otherwise, you cannot so easily carve paths through the rough and coarse path of these mountains and their harsh weather conditions. Traveling ahead to 2022, a major moment for this huge project was seen. China's railway technology and equipment have made big improvements, becoming much more advanced than before. They decided to invest a surprising $1.4 billion to kickstart this grand idea. And their ultimate goal? To complete everything by 2025, making sure this impressive railway becomes a reality within just a few years. Surely it's a huge undertaking, but they are determined to get the job done like they always do. Building this railway is a monumental task, just as challenging as the whole project itself. Working way up at an altitude of 4000 meters where the air is thin and there's not enough oxygen can exhaust your workforce and you will lose lots of equipment. It's not just about the height. 
Inside the tunnel, where they are working is incredibly dusty and damp. To tackle these tough problems, they've assembled a team of workers who are experts in dealing with these conditions. They've also brought in some seriously impressive technology, like the massive Jinghua shield machine. This massive machine is designed to help them dig through the mountains while dealing with all the difficulties like low oxygen and the dusty, humid conditions inside the tunnel. But as we know, nature's strength is no joke. The Himalayas are huge mountains that are always covered in snow and sometimes shake because of the ground moving. These things make it extremely risky. Landslides, big mountain chunks falling, and harsh weather occur so often that you cannot risk the lives of your labor. These events happen often and cause significant delays in the construction work. To keep going, they have to think of really clever ways and plan really carefully to deal with all these unavoidable issues. And yeah, if you are thinking about the cost of this huge and massive project, then you are not alone. Constructing this railway is quite pricey and will surprise you. It costs around $50 million for each kilometer of the Himalayan tunnel. That seems like a lot, but when you compare it to other massive tunnels, like the ones in Switzerland or Goddard, it's much cheaper. What's even more shocking is how quickly they're getting things done. In just six months, they managed to dig out 1,680 meters of the tunnel. That's a lot of progress in a short time. Making a tunnel through the Himalayas is no small task. It's a really big challenge. To do this, they needed the best technology, some really smart ideas, and a great engineering team. These engineers had to figure out how to make the tunnel strong enough, especially in areas where the ground is really rough and bumpy. They also had to make sure it was totally safe for everyone working there. They used the coolest, newest technology available and came up with really smart ways to deal with all the tough parts of working in these rough and wild mountains. These mountains aren't easy to work on. So the engineers had to think of smart ways to handle all the problems that came with this mega project. But it's not just about the tunnel or the tech. It's also about the people doing the hard work. They had to make sure that all the workers were safe and healthy while they were working on this big project. Sometimes, the workers got sick, which made things even tougher. It's quite hard to build something when you are not feeling well. The team in charge had a big job looking after everyone, making sure they were okay and finding ways to help them out when they couldn't keep working. It's like taking care of a really big family, making sure everyone's doing alright and ready to keep going with the work. It's quite amazing when we look at how quickly China's team is moving on this railway project compared to what happened in Switzerland. Switzerland spent almost 8 years working on a 35km tunnel. That's a long time just for that shorter tunnel. But now, think about what China's up to. They're not just building a tunnel, they're making a whole bunch of railways, stretching for about 530 kilometers. And one part of that railway is a 30 kilometer tunnel through the Himalayas. That's a whole lot more tracks and a much longer tunnel. And here's the fun fact, they are planning to finish it all up by 2025. So, Switzerland took quite a while for a smaller tunnel, but China's team is like a speeding train. They are working super fast to complete this massive network of railways, including this super long tunnel through the huge mountains. Isn't it amazing how quickly they're getting all of this done? Facing immense challenges, the China-Nepal railway project displayed remarkable resilience. It tackled nature's obstacles with innovative engineering, advanced technology, careful planning, and unwavering dedication from the construction teams. This success in engineering also showcased human adaptability and determination in facing nature's toughest terrain. Completing the China-Nepal railway is a game-changer. It will shrink the distance between Beijing and Kathmandu from 3,150 km to just 530 km. It also links Nepal to the Trans-Asian Railway, increasing trade and offering new economic opportunities. As a result, Nepal was liberated from the limitations of its geographical position. So, the neighboring countries of Nepal might need to watch out for the economic prosperity Nepal is about to bring to their country, all thanks to China, which is also benefiting from this project. Eventually, what we see isn't just a tunnel construction. It's a sign of how smart and determined people can be. Finishing the China-Nepal railway isn't just a win for these two countries. It's like a big cheer for the whole region. It shows what's possible when we don't give up, even when nature makes it hard. Share your thoughts about this wonderful project in the comments section and like and subscribe to our channel for such interesting videos.